Hi there, so first I'd like to apologise for how long it's been since I made a video last. University got crazy, I had some personal stuff going on, I had my dissertation to write, I had other assignments to do, I had to apply for my masters, so I just had a lot going on in my life, so unfortunately I had to put this on the back burner. But I'm here now, I've got nine videos ready to make, and obviously I'm still reading all the time, and I have my lovely bookshelf here so they're all books that I can read and review so there's loads coming up so don't worry I will be here um, so today I'm going to be talking about The Equality Illusion by Kat Banyard it's a really interesting book it's really informative and although it's a feminist text it's quite a nice easy read it's not kind of hammering hammering away at you and trying to break down your defences you know as people may say it's just a really nice interesting read and what I thought was particularly interesting was the way the book was laid out it was that different issues were dealt with at different times of the day so at the beginning of the day it dealt with issues to do with education because that's when women will be getting up young girls will be getting up and going to school someone will be taking their kids to school some may be dropping them off at nursery all those kind of things. So it's really interesting to see how they correlated the different issues to sort of different parts of a woman's daily routine. It covered everything, you know, like I said, education, prostitution, reproductive rights, all that kind of stuff. So everything is kind of covered and it's different times. And then at the end of that, you've got a new day which starts. And that is talking about all the different organisations that there are and all the campaigns that are trying to help with these issues and trying to make things better and tackle adversity and all that kind of stuff. And I thought that was a really nice, a nice thing. It kind of it gives you the hope that it might be crap now, but tomorrow, or the metaphorical tomorrow, things can get better and they are getting better and they will get better. Another way that the book worked really well for me is that it was based on accounts of real women and it had an awful lot of statistics in so you know that what was being said and what they were talking about came from either you know big research surveys all that kind of stuff but it also came from real women who've experienced this on a day-to-day -day basis and I think that's really important it makes it seem a lot less clinical and it, it makes it a lot easier to relate to and I also thought it was really good that it included um, men and children so it wasn't just women like adult women who are facing these things it's talking about how it affects children and how it can affect men but a lot of it was from males who were very supportive of the cause um i understand that i'm talking quite binary here that's just how the book is um as far as i can remember it's been a slight while since i read it um but yeah obviously that's just how how the book is set up to illustrate the issues and in particular, it brought a lot of issues to the forefront for me that I sort of had forgot that I was quite passionate about. And that was really interesting because it kind of gave me a kick up the ass, as it were, to kind of get back on these things and read about these things again and just, yeah, just get back out there and get as involved as I would like to be. And what really helped with that actually is at the very end of the book, there's a huge list of resources and organisations and websites, all that stuff, so that you can get involved and it's the people that are involved in the book. And it's just really interesting. It's really nice to see that they're not just preaching to you. It's not just, this is what needs to be done and I'm angry that this needs to be done and there's all these things wrong. They're saying, OK, if, if you feel the same way that I do, that there's all these issues this is how you can help. These are the people that are helping. This is how you can get involved. And yeah, I just thought it was a really nice, a really nice read. And I, I really enjoyed it. I'd thoroughly recommend the book. So that's all for this video. Nice and nice and short to begin with, mainly because I wrote all these notes a while ago before things kind of got a bit, a bit rough. So I am hashing these reviews out quite quickly at the moment. I might make another couple today. So I apologise, I will be wearing the same clothes. And yes, I'll see you all soon. Bye!